Hey, it's your boy Kid Zed here coming at you with another video today. You know what we're doing the hot and spicy chicken flavor noodle challenge. Yep. Got my cousin Dana here. Hey, my name's Dana. Alright, man. Switch out hats, man. I don't like this one. It's too hot to be wearing a snap bag, man. Okay, is that better? All right, man. So, YouTube, what just happened, man? It's the kids that back at it again with another video. I'm pretty tired, man. Um, I don't know what happened yesterday. And sorry about the fan. It's not as high as it was yesterday, man. Yesterday it was on like level three. Today it's on level one. Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, I posted on my snap, you know, about my new video. I was like, yo, man, uh, when you get a sec, you know, can you go uh, check it out? Since you ain't doing no ruckus, you know, with the quarantine and the lockdown and whatnot. And somebody, man, struck a nerve. And I was like, I got to start uploading more, man. Like, I'll put the comment right there. It kind of burned me out, man. You know, and, you know, the support I got was really, you know, a bunch of people are just like, yo, F that dude. You know, but, uh, yeah. But anyways, man, YouTube, what's happening, man? It's the kids that back at it again with another video. First off, let me say it. Let me get my shout outs, man. I haven't did any uh, shout outs in a while. Let me shout out my bro, man. He used to go by uh, Gingerbread, man. But he doesn't go by that no more, man. He goes by Main Cuts, the barber. That's his new thing. Uh, this is my YouTube brother, man. I met this dude right around the time I started my YouTube journey. And he kind of, you know, with this COVID and stuff, he disappeared, man. And I was worried, like, heck, man, you know, I thought the Rona got him. But uh, comes to, you know, his all right. Uh, he just revamped his channel, man. Uh, he's no longer doing, he was doing Play-Doh's uh, pickups and whatnot. And now he's doing haircuts, man. So congrats, bro, man. Glad to see you back in my feed, man. Uh, I try to check him out every now and then, you know, but so many videos go through my, uh, you know, notifications. You know, but I, when I see your, you know, main uh, I'll I'll click on it, but yeah, today is going to be a, like a little thrift find, Ross finds stuff like that. Um, but yeah, here's the first thing I found right here. This was pretty cool, man. I found this at a Goodwill that I usually don't go to, man. It it was pretty pricey at three ninety nine, but I found this. I think I believe it's a Disneyland shirt, and you know, it's a Disneyland shirt or it's a Disney uh Disney store shirt. But yeah, the paint ain't chipping or anything so I was like I could cop it I guess paint still holding up pretty good should I see if it fits man uh, it's an XL that's kind of I don't know I don't know why I copped it man but should we see let's see if it'll fit all right uh, I don't know man I don't know if it's gonna fit it's kind of tight man it's my it'd be my muscle shirt like, whoa what's up <laughs> yeah it's kind of tight man I don't know it's pretty dope you know if you know me I'm a big Disney fan man yeah, I got. I can't do the video like this, man. Let's let's put my other shirt back on. All right. Whew, better. All right, man. So it's gonna be thrifts. That was my thrift find, man. That's a pretty dope ass shirt. Extra large. I don't know too many people that could fit an extra large, but you know, I might find somebody. But yeah, uh, my mom went to. Sorry about my chair, man. This freaking uh, pillow I'm sitting on keeps rubbing against the chair. But my mom went thrifting the other day, man, and she found these cool little ones, man. I gotta clean them up. I should clean them up when I did those wolf grays man but these are pretty cool man it's pretty cool because that she found these because um my niece my niece actually had a, a baby her name is maddie and you know maybe i'll hold these for her my mom only pay 3.99 my mom's always finding little kid shoes like these all the time i don't know if she's trying to tell me something or what but i don't know but she's always giving them to me she's like here you go i found these at the goodwill but yeah these are pretty cool 3.99 you know you can't complain little jays i tried to find the other side but i couldn't but yeah uh these next ones man these ones are going to be fire man so here's the I need to get that thumbnail i get the ross bag in there you know somehow somehow let's see let's see this like that that's gonna be the thumbnail but yeah we'll go with the first thing the first thing my mom picked these up she she got a great price on these men like i was surprised she even found these uh, this video is going to be kind of a short one today. It's at 5 minutes right now. You know, I try to push them to past 10. But yeah, this shoe right here, I'm surprised my mom even found these. Uh, but she found them the same day. Sorry if my room's messy back there. I'm actually in the process of cleaning it, man. But yeah, 
So she found these the same day she found those little shoes, man. She's like, you're not going to believe what I found. And here it is. Play the play the angel music in the background. It's like... The thing I like about pant leather, man, this ruckus, you know, gets dirty easy. We just... Alright, I'm wipe the finger marks off real quick. Alright. There it is. Sheesh. Now these right here are 7Y, man. These are the Air Jordan 6 rings. She found these at Burlington. Um, if you guys don't recall, at the same Burlington, man, I caught these shoes right here. So where she caught these is where I caught these at. These things are going for 500 plus in a size 9. 10 and a half in women's, 9 in uh, men's. Because if you don't know, you got to bump up a size and a half to get your size. But yeah, the same Burlington I caught those at, she caught these at. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, six rings. I, I hate that they mashed up a bunch of retros and put them all on this shoe. What is it? The thirteens, the elevens, the eights. What else is in here? The six. I think that's the six. But this is the eight. I believe this is eleven. You got the thirteen bottom. Um, yeah, I'm not too fond of, on these you know but i know a lot of people love this shoe uh, my bro mucka he loves this shoe has, has had a couple pairs i believe he probably has this pair too but uh yeah my bro gary likes these sh shoes i i don't know what it is they mucka said it's a comfortable shoe i actually pr uh, traded a pair of my air jordan 2009s if you guys don't know what those are i'll put the picture of the ones i had that i traded for a pair of these in my size the pair I traded for were like a carbon fiber, man, and they were cool and all. I wore them once, man, but then ruckuses hurted my feet, so I changed them real. I I don't even think I changed them. I think I just gave them to my little brother, man. But they were all right, man. They look cool, like that. Like that's a cool shoe, you know. But me personally, it's not my cup of tea. Uh, I'll show you the other side, man. Like I said, brand new, caught from Burlington. Pretty clean shoe. Let me know your thoughts on the Air Jordan 6 string, man. Is this your cup of tea? Do you rock them? What are your thoughts on it? Are they comfortable? Are they not comfortable? Comment down below. But this next pair, like I said, it's going to be a short video. This pair right here, man. Let me tell you a story about when I found these, man. I just found these today. And when I found them, I was like, yo, because uh, Ross is slowly starting to get stock in. And I was looking at the, I go from 13 down which is wrong because you know they have arrows now so instead of going 13 down i go the opposite way because the arrows go that way so i'm going against traffic but yeah i was checking these shoes out i was like in size 11 i know size 12 and i seen this this guy was picking them up man this dude man this dude was grinding my gears man because he'd like pick up every little shoe he'd be like this he'd pick up every little shoe Like every single shoe he'd pick it up one by one and inspect it like they weren't real or something but yeah but he picked these shoes up man and I was like oh my god those are Yeezys uh, I, I'm not too you know I don't have a bunch of Yeezys I've bar I barely seen Yeezys I have a pair I have a pair of zebras and they're kind of a like hand-me-downs you know but I love them uh, I wore them you know when the person gave them to me I wore them a bunch of times uh, but yeah, but I thought these were a pair of Yeezys. I'll put the picture up of the Yeezys I thought they were. The Yeezy 500s, I think they're called, but that's the picture I thought they were. Uh, but yeah, these things are clean, man. Uh, I seen these at Ross, and I left them. I stashed them, because I, I still had Burlington to check out, and I was like, I'm going to go check out Burlington. If I don't find nothing there, I'll come back for them, because Burlington, you know, does no tax. I was like, if I can find something there, no tax, I'd just cop, it, cop something there. They did have nothing at all but i found these these things are clean like i'm i don't know i left them and i had no intentions of going back from i was like man they were cool and all but i left and i thought man i got a dope ass shirt that's gonna go with this outfit or with these shoes these are called the adidas oz we go uh I cannot say that name, but it's on that. Let's see if I can focus on that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Uh, come on. But that's the name right there. I'll put it right there, man. You know, there's like something called about the tar cargo something. I don't know. But I, 
the thing that sold me on these was these. I was like, yo, those green laces look fire in that. Uh, because this is the side I seen when that guy was looking at them. So that's what made me think they're Yeezys. I don't know what made me think. I think the bottom kind of made me think they're Yeezys, those 500s. But the 500s have more a more oval-shaped side. And they do have those little round, uh, I don't know what they're called. But yeah, uh, uh, this shoe right here, I know nothing about it, but I looked it up, man. These things are going for over $100. I want to say like between $150 to $200 um, for this size. Retail was $110. Uh, you do get, I did get the extra set of laces and the other olive green um, thing. I'm probably going to swap it out and put the neon gray, green laces in because I like that look better than uh the olive green let me know comment down below what do you think is better do you like the green volt laces in them or do you like the olive laces volt olive volt olive me personally i'm thinking this side so i'm gonna swap those out uh, i did you know the flip side did come out of me i'm like yo man i should flip these but i'm gonna keep them man that small hint of 3m 3m right there along the stitch line is pretty fire i'll see if i can put the picture up of it right there with the 3m that's what it looks like but yeah i'll show you guys what else i found at ross oh yeah there's what i paid right here i paid 39.99 which ain't a bad price um i tried these suckers on and they're pretty fire there, there's the size tag if you, if you couldn't see it in there 39.99 which came out to like 4327 I believe I'm not too sure but yeah I like to put my Ross and uh, Burlington stickers right there on my shoe shelf but yeah man these things are pretty clean for what they are for how much they how much I paid you know 39.99 plus tax I wish Berlin I wish they were like Burlington and uh, did no tax but you do have the leather tongue these are actually pretty comfortable man you know I tried them on at Ross and I was kind of 50 50 on them I left them I stashed them right after I left I was like yo man I got a shirt that's gonna go with them uh is it right there yeah i'm gonna put that ruckus on all right all right all right let's go do the do the snap trick that the, and there it is man like this thing is fire man i don't know what it is with me and the short sleeve hoodies man i'm i'm just an all-around hoodie person man like would that not go with these no yeah no i do have a adidas shirt that i wore all the time you might you might remember seeing me rock it in the videos but yeah this is a pretty crazy uh shoe i don't know what it is i'm a sucker for shoes with gum bottoms uh they don't look good on everything but you know with the olive green and the small hint of the gum bottom like right there and on the toe like that's perfect the perfect amount and you do have like a little suede right there right there pretty clean shoe in my opinion but yeah and it fell but yeah that is today's vid man sorry about the stupid one man i didn't get one of those uh what is it called the uh, fiber foam one you know because this pillow is some to give it a little cushion because this is a wood chair but yeah that is today's vid man if you're new here be sure to smash the like and subscribe button down at the bottom hit that little notification bell right next to it so you know when i upload a new video and if you're not new thank you for tuning in to yet another video it's because of you guys i keep on going i kind of lost focus right there for a second why i don't know I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to try to put this ruckus out together and have two up in a row. So, yeah.